What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I've got five very specific fragrances that are personal favorites of mine. Some of these are very new to me. Some of these are just personal favorites that I really believe that going into 2024 as we wind this thing down, it's the Christmas weekend as I record this, uh, I think these are ones that you should consider going into 2024 because regardless of how accurate they may be with their cloning, they just smell really good. The quality's decent here, and I just overall very much enjoy them and would recommend them to you. So let's talk about these five. Stay tuned. Starting with what seems to be the very much gaining hype quickly fragrance from Paris Corner, called Care Pistachio. Big, big fan of this one. Uh, pistachio gelato, sweet rum, spicy cinnamon. That rum smell does fade pretty quickly, but I get a minty geranium floral feel to the core of this fragrance with a whipped cream, an airy whipped cream, cotton candy combination as it dries. There's a lot going on here. This is a very fun, sweet, gourmand-ish type of fragrance. I don't think it's a full-on non-stop gourmand because I typically don't like just dessert fragrances. Though obviously there's a very strong dessert aspect to it, but the florals really give it some added character and depth. They kind of speak to me a bit more. Minty, fresh, sweet, creamy, spicy, boozy, fun. Just a fun fragrance with great performance. I 100% recommend checking this one out as we go into 2024. It is my favorite release of 2023 from Paris Corner, and I really think you should check this one out if you get an opportunity. Again, that's Paris Corner's Care Pistachio. Now, there's a few clones of Absolu Aventus that has come out, and the only one I've tried so far and is actually quite accurate, I'm a fan, is Absolute King from Central Obsessions. So Kevin went ahead and put out his version, and I would say it's pretty damn close. I'm not going to say it's exact 100% spot on match, but you get the citruses, the fruitiness, the ginger, the spices, it just all of the beauty that is Absolu Aventus, because it is a really good fragrance. But... This smells so good. Way more affordable. Great performance. Totally worth getting. 15 ml like this is plenty for me. I don't need a big bottle. Uh, this is more than enough. And I'm not going to do more than three to four sprays any and every time I wear it anyway because it's quite strong. You can get a variety of sizes, but I would encourage you checking it out. If you're looking for a great interpretation of the newest release from Creed that's got a ton of hype, because it's a phenomenal fragrance. It really is all that. It, it's one of the better releases of 2023, in my opinion. This is Essential Obsession's take on Creed Absolute Aventus. Again, this is called Absolute Cane. Another one pe from Paris Corner that's just an absolute joy for me to wear. It smells like lemon lime soda, pretty much Sprite and 7 Up to me. It is Paris Corner's Vibrant Vetiver Delight. It's supposed to be a, an interpretation of Byredo's Bald de Freak. I find this is a little bit different, more of an inspiration than a direct copycat carbon copy, but um, I really enjoy this. It smells like the color of the bottle, basically. As the name of the fragrance indicates, it's a very vibrant, fun, citrus, zesty type of fragrance. Uh, fresh, woodsy type of vetiver. Nothing challenging here. Nothing masculine or feminine leaning. Just perfect, down the middle, unisex. Super fun, fresh, vibrant, like I said, as the name indicates. Very uplifting scent. Puts you in a good mood. At least puts me in a good mood with some pretty good performance. I wouldn't call this one a beast, but I also wouldn't call it average or weak. It kind of falls somewhere in that very strong territory with projection and longevity. I think this is really, really good stuff. If you just want a fun citrus fragrance, I think you should check out Vibrant Vetiver Delight. Now, I'm a huge fan of Ombre Leather's DNA, and this is kind of a hybrid. You get a little bit of Ombre Leather Parfum. You get a little bit of Ombre Leather Eau de Parfum. In Afnan's Rare Carbon, I still think it's one of the better ones out there. Now, is it the most accurate to ombre leather? No, there's there's more accurate interpretations, but the oil quality here is pretty good. And like I said, it kind of falls in between the two variations that are available on the market, where you get some of the you know metallic, kind of fresh tone, ozonic feel, if you will, from the violet leaf. You get some of the florals from the parfum. You get all of that sweetness and bright, leathery, Slight spice tone from the regular ombre leather. This is a good fragrance right here. 
huge fan and it's not so heavy that I don't think you could pull the I think you could pull this one off in warmer weather I don't think it's a great high heat high humidity kind of fragrance but if you just really like a, a bright leather accord this is one of the better ones I've come across and it's continued to stop me from getting bottles of the Tom Ford which I will eventually get because yeah I still want the originals they're still really good but this one for 30 some odd dollars is a great option to check out Again, that's Afnan's Rare Carbon and last but not least, this is my favorite affordable Creed Aventus-like fragrance. Um, not Absolute Aventus. We talked about that. That's a different fragrance. Whereas Armoff's Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum, I still say, is just that jam. Again, not the most accurate take on Aventus. I just love the way it smells. I love the rich candied lemon smell. Very heavy, smoky fragrance. I typically prefer the more smoky side of Aventus's DNA than the fruity side. Of course, I love the pineapple and all that good stuff, but this is smoky magic. Rich, dense, a little sweet, a hint of florals, but a bit woodsy, as well as citric and fruity. There's a lot of citrus here. Like I said, this candied lemon type of smell. Very dark, almost resinous, smoky type of smell to this. Um, great performance as well. You're gonna pay in the 50-ish, 50, 40s to $50 range for this one. Um, I think it's worth every single penny. Not as loud as the Eau de Toilette, but also not sharp, scratchy, and super synthetic like the Eau de Toilette. Whereas it's still a synthetic, but it's not abrasive like the EDT can be. Great longevity. I'm just a huge fan of this fragrance. That's why I continue to recommend this to people. It shows up more times than not when I do clone videos because I'm just a huge fan of this fragrance. It is that good in my opinion. Again, that's Armoff's Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum. Well, quick, to the point, that is the five that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. Of these five, what have you tried? Are you familiar with any of them? I'll try to have links down below for all five offerings that are in this video. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these five and you give them a spray now, I really think there's a good chance that you might thank me later. Have a good one, guys.